Today I just made beef pho broth. Let me show you how. Hi guys, these are the ingredients that you need to make beef pho, just the broth part. So once you get the broth, everything else will come easy. The broth is the hard part. You want it to be not as expensive. These is the ingredients that you can make a good size of beef broth for pho. So I use beef bones. You can purchase beef bones from any Chinese grocery store. You just have to go to the meat department and ask them for beef bones. For the beef bones, I like to boil it first. Once you pre-boil the bone at least 15 minutes with one tablespoon of salt, get rid of all the blood that come out from the bone and all the scums, all the foam. This way, when you use the bone to make broth, make the broth look nicer and cleaner. You also need onion, you need ginger, you need daikon. Instead of using cinnamon stick and star anise, I'm going to use pho spice. See the word pho on there and with the soup like this, you know that is the spice for pho. For the beef bone, two pound of beef bones that I pre-boil them in boiling water about 15 minutes with salt and a clean well before you use them to make the final broth for pho. So two pound of beef bones, one large onion. You don't have to cut them in half or anything. Just put the whole thing. You don't have to roast them either because the flavor when you use the pressure cooker, the pressure cooker will make the broth taste good automatically. But if you want to roast them, you can too. But I won't roast any of them. And here is a small piece, about 200 grams of daikon. If you don't want to use daikon, you can use carrot. For the ginger, it's about 100 grams. You can smash them, you can cut them in half. I'm going to put one bag of pho spice. And this is the package for it. And in here, there's two bags. I like to use this kind because this kind, they don't break on you. After you put all the ingredients in, with two pounds of beef bones, I can put 12 cups of water or three liters. My Ninja pressure cooker, this one can put 12 cups of water or three liters. But if your pressure cooker pot is smaller, make sure you put less water because it can spill. So this all it can hold, 12 cups of water or three liters. For the bones, two pounds, 200 grams of daikon, one large onion and one full spice. Half tablespoon of salt one tablespoon of brown sugar, and two tablespoons of fish sauce. I also like to use chicken powder, half tablespoon. You can stir and mix all the ingredients well first. You can cook it on high heat. In the pressure cooker, you can cook it for 30 minutes, and after 30 minutes, you can leave it another 40 minutes, and after, you can release the air. Once all the air is all released, after I cook it in here, now I'm going to transfer them into a different pot. When the beef broth is done cooking in the pressure cooker, you can transfer them into a different pot so it's easier to make a bowl of beef pho. Here is the homemade beef balls that I made. If you want to know how to make the Asian beef ball, you can check out my YouTube channel for a longer video on how to make the beef ball for pho. So now I'm going to bring it to boil. You can bring it to boil. When you see it boiling, you can lower to about heat three. And after that, you can start to boil water. You can start to make a bowl of beef pho. I'm going to give it a taste. Wow, tastes so good. <laughs> tastes so good. About an hour and 20 minutes, you can have a really delicious broth for beef pho. To make a bowl of beef pho, you need rice noodle, green onion. You also need sawtooth mint. It looks like this. You need some thin sliced onion, bean sprouts. I also like to cut the lime as well. So I have everything all done. And when it is time to eat, everything's all ready. And also thin sliced beef. This thin sliced beef, I just buy them. They already thin sliced them for me already. So it's in a package. I don't have to take it home and thin slice myself. So it's easy. And after that, you can start to make a bowl of beef pho. It's boiling, now you can add the rice noodle. For the fresh rice noodle, you're only going to cook it about 10 seconds. Don't cook it too long because cook it too long, it's going to make it soggy. And after, shake off all the water because the water will make the broth less flavor. And after that, you can put in a bowl. I also like to cook my bean sprouts. After that, you can put your topping, thin sliced onion, green onion. You need some mint, thin sliced beef that I bought, some fried shallots or fried garlic. 
when you put the broth in here make sure the broth really hot so it can help to cook the beef right away here you can make some sauce and i like the lime in here 